actually made it. The last few days had been so busy and I'm just super excited to be on the road now. Hey, so the first day of the trip um, went really well. I was a little bit unsure if it pulls right, it's fine, it had no problem pulling up um, the mountains there near Grand's Pass and uh, the only thing that happened was like that spice rack I have here. So it was filled with spices and you know, all the spices came out. I had a big pile here. And then um, another thing that happened is that drawer here. Yeah, so it had two short screws. So I, oops, so I pulled on the handle and the whole thing came off. So I had to do some repairs already. Other than that, it went fine. Got my fridge working. Um, made my first tea on the stove. Everything is working perfectly. Um, I had a really good night's sleep and I'm looking forward to another day of travel. And so this was my setup for this night. Worked out great. It was easy setup. It was almost level. And truck is loaded. I am ready to hit the road again. feel really nervous, towing, misty, and uh, you know, I just got this truck. I'm not used to the truck either yet, so it's all new. enjoy driving this truck actually sitting up that high and just cruising feels great and listening to my favorite music gets me so in tune with myself it's like a meditation the tiny fest so I'm very excited to see where the wind blows us. Okay so I'm in the Sacramento area and right before the freeway went through Sacramento one of the truck drivers lined up with me and uh, gave me hand signals and stuff pointed up to my roof and he said my roof came loose. <laughs> I didn't want to pull off in Sacramento because, you know, I mean, um, I don't know where I am, so I wanted to get through Sacramento. So I pulled off first, first chance, and here we are. So one, one of the roofs, actually, it's behind me, like one of the middle roofs, middle panels here is loose. And I was driving and driving for hours. I thought, oh my God, what is wrong? Is there so much wind? I mean, I was using gas like crazy and the car was working. My truck was working hard. I mean, I could hear it working hard, hard, hard. And all of a sudden I thought maybe the wind changed and it got easier again. But um, so it was the roof all along. The roof came loose. So I'm going to see if I can get up there and just put a piece of, I have no idea how to get up there, a piece of uh, duct tape on it for now. I don't know. We'll see. Oh my God, it's hot in Sacramento. Anyway, I walk in the gas station and ask for a help, ask for a ladder. And uh, <laughs> so this lady calls uh, her coworker for help and out comes this super tall, I mean, humongous tall guy, like basketball player size guy. <laughs> and he was able to stand on the, the on my truck on the fold out thingy and uh, just um, duct tape up Misty's roof <laughs> so hopefully I'll get safely to my overnight spot I only have like 50 more miles to go 
the adventure has begun. <laughs> I was really exhausted after all this excitement and decided to pull off the freeway at a rest area and stay the night there. 7.15 in the morning, it was quite a night. It was so hot. I had all the, the windows open for draft and still it took like two hours for it to cool down. Um, I had earplugs in, it was so noisy. I don't like rest areas. Um, it's an emergency thing if you need to, but I mean, oh my God, there were trucks going, coming and going all night. And yeah, I didn't get much sleep, so I'm exhausted. But um, so tonight we'll be arriving, hopefully, if the roof holds up, we'll arrive at the fairgrounds in Del Mar, and uh, hopefully, I'll get some rest for the next few days. I'm having a really creative moment right now, so I wanted to share some thoughts. I do have a lot of video footage of Mrs. Build that I'm planning to publish as a video on my YouTube channel, but what if I actually recorded this whole journey? It's like a video journal and uh, some people actually might enjoy watching it as well. I was looking back at my life and I was thinking about which stage of my life I was the happiest actually was like 20 plus years ago when I was traveling along the west coast in my self-converted Dodge van. I met the most amazing, beautiful people you could imagine. And I want to experience a little bit more of that, but with maybe a little bit more luxury and comfort. So I created Misty. It was time to simplify life again and create more freedom. And here we are on Misty's maiden voyage. return date. Having one initial destination and after that everything is wide open. So close to the fairgrounds but with all the traffic jams I had to pull out and get more gas. So I have made it. I am here at the Tiny Fest. i um, really tired right now. I was stuck in traffic for like four hours from um, Los Angeles to Del Mar. And, um, but we made it. And there's a ton of nice people. I feel so home here. Um, they're all like like-minded people I'm, I'm very happy to be here and i'm excited for this weekend <sighs> uh, good night good morning world we have another day in paradise coming up big event so good morning ralphie let's look this is my view i'm in the last row at a tiny fest, you can explore and tour a big variety of tiny houses, including like converted vans, schoolies, bardos, tiny houses on wheels, all kinds of stuff. You can find a link to some of the events in the description below. Then the gates finally opened and it was a great event. We had so many people come visit and uh, yeah, it was just awesome. So this is day three 
and um, it's been amazing so far you know I have met so many super nice people I'm slowly moving into my space here that I created and I'm getting very comfortable in it and the best of all Ralphie is like the most amazing dog ever he just like he keeps surprising me so like one thing was today like you know I go out and walk around after the gates closed and I just um, get into a conversation and all I know is that he is gone when the gates closed you know I can let him off leash and it's like a little community here and it's super sweet I needed to look for him and I walk up and he's sitting right on the deck waiting for me. He knows where his home is. And that was so cute. You know, I packed some pre-cooked meals. I mean, self-cooked that I froze. And so I just packed some to have something quick. And I just, I thought I had some goulash or something in that it was not labeled. So I defrosted today and um, boil it. And it's, I made a sauerbrot. <laughs> so... Tonight, I'm going to have sauerbrot and um, just some noodles with it. But, you know, oh my God, what a treat. You know, I talk to people all day. I'm tired and now I'm going to have sauerbrot. And good night. The Tiny Fest in San Diego was an amazing event. But now I needed some solitude. And I found a perfect boondocking spot right on the beach in San Diego. And I spent about a week there till it was time for me to head out again. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free So this is we'll just the beginning if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for more. Not looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for.